Hello everyone and welcome to Mars Garden Kitchen. I am going to start my seeds today. I'm going to be trying a different method. Usually what I do when I start my seeds, I would pre-moisten my potting soil. Then I would fill these little seed trays here and then add the seeds. But this time I'm going to be just adding the potting soil to the seed trays and I'm going to be bottom watering them. And after I put the seeds in, I'm going to mix it. I will do all the watering back inside, but I just want to get the soil. Uh, on this tray so I don't make a mess inside my house and I am using regular potting mix today looks like this I like to start my seeds with regular potting mix because it has some extra nutrients on it I might only do one tray actually because it is really cold I'm not sure if I'll be able to stay here that long but you can definitely use some seedling mixes that they have out there the diff big difference is that they don't have as much nutrients they're just a medium where they can sprout and can get to that first two leaves and after that they will need more nutrients to keep going because i am starting so early i wanted to make sure that they will have some extra food until it's time for me to transplant them last year i put in my brassicas out by the end of february so i also started it much earlier since it's the beginning of february now they'll probably take about four weeks indoors this time and then after that i'll put them out it will be March by then and the temperatures should be a bit warmer. I like to fill these trays all the way up to the top like this and press it gently. I don't want to press it too much because I don't want to make it too compact but it has to have some a little bit of structure to hold the roots in there. So I'm gonna put and since I'm doing brassicas they have very very small seeds. I'm kind of putting them kind of to the surface and then just going to gently put a very thin layer of soil on top of it. I'm reusing these little cell plugs from last year. Same with these trays here underneath. They have, I have some leak proof trays so I can put water and then can get, they can get water from the bottom. But I'm really looking to learning more about soil bro blocking for next year so I can try to avoid plastic. But since I already have those cells, I am going to keep reusing them until they break on me. If you see something like this happen, a big clump of soil, make sure that you break it out so the roots are able to spread. Yep, my hands are cold, so I'm only doing this tray. I want to do at least the cauliflower and the broccoli first and the Chinese cabbage, just because they take a little bit longer to grow than, uh, than the kales. Kale can also, you can harvest the kale young. You can start eating the leaves for this ones that form our head like the cauliflower and the broccoli it needs, and then they need to kind of develop for a little bit longer so you would say on the seed pack how long prior you have to start them this soil looks pretty good i really like the color of this very nice dark brown okay let me just spread this out real quick i am not planting a lot this year I just made a video going through my grow list and for today I'm going to be planting these varieties here. This broccoli, this cabbage, celery, this other broccoli and cauliflower. I do have one more broccoli that I did not put on my last video. I ordered this together with some tomatoes and I forgot to mention that in there. So I do have one more variety of broccoli that I'm starting as well. So for brassicas they have very very small seeds. The first thing that I like to do is actually Put a little tag so i don't forget what they are after i planted the seeds are all look the same very small black seeds so i'm gonna do each tray of this is gonna be one variety so i'm gonna grab six of these little garden labels here so there's six or seven one extra in case the hands are cold already <laughs> i'm really craving spending time outside but whatever time that i come i feel cold really fast all right so the first one I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with this cauliflower over here and I'm just gonna write it and I like to put the date so I know when I planted them and here I'm gonna open the seed pack I will plant maybe two to three seeds per those are a little bit bigger than cauliflower but that's how they look they are little balls and I stick this in here so I know those are cauliflower. You can see them in my hand here, tiny. Uh, those are from last year. Didn't buy any new cauliflower seeds this year. 
I'm sure they're still nice, they're still viable. But I'm gonna do three just in case, per. And if they all sprout, I am going to thin them out to pick the strongest seedling, the one that looks the healthiest. All right, I had a few left. I'm gonna put it back in the pack because I don't have that many seeds for this anymore. You probably can barely see this since the soil and the seeds are about the same color. So I'm going to gently push them down very gently and then I'm going to slightly cover with the soil that it is already in the tray. Right now I'm going to keep going do the same thing with all these other seed packs here. Now the celery, this one's going to have different shape seeds. Oh, even smaller than the broccoli, look at this. Very tiny. I never planted celery from seed before, so let's see how's that gonna go. What does it say? Starting doors, eight to 12 weeks, I had less frost date, so yeah. Definitely had to start this earlier. This is so, so tiny, I'm gonna put a few in here. Just in case. Oh my gosh, smallest seeds I've ever planted. All right, push them in. I'm. Pr is it surface soil? Yeah, just say surface soil. Gently pressing the, the soil, so I'm not even going to cover it. So just every time that you don't know about something from starting the seeds. Take a look at the seed packs because usually they come with these planting instructions and they will tell you what to do. Even from different brands, so this one is from Hudson Valley and also has a little how to grow section over there. Uh, Chinese cabbage. Looks exactly like the broccoli seeds. It's also in the brassicas. This one, the seed pack's a little old too, so I'm gonna put about three to four on each. And I'll save these seeds too so I can share with my neighbors if they want to grow as well. Now I'm gonna take this back inside because I'm literally freezing. I'll go in and I'll show you how I water this. All right, I am back inside. Now to water them is very simple. I'm gonna remove one of these trays and I am going to add water to the bottom. This is a leak-proof tray. Don't, not, um, don't too much, but a little bit to hydrate the soil to there. I'll add more if I feel like I need it later. So that way they'll get, they'll get water to the bottom. And now I'm just gonna get this little mist over here and I'm going to mist the top of the soil. That way I don't wash the seeds to the sides or anything. When you're starting from seed, it's very important that you keep this so the soil surface moist at all time to increase the chance of the seeds germinating. And I am actually going to add a little humidity dome to mine. You don't need to do this. I have this from when our friend gave us the Light, the grow light setup. He also gave us some of these trays and some of this dome. So I'm going to put this up here just to help with the humidity and hopefully the soil won't dry so fast. And I'm going to leave them upstairs because my basement is really, really cold even though I just did set up my grow light. I'm going to leave them up here just until they germinate. Also, it would be easier for me to keep an eye on them and keep misting the top and uh, adding water to the bottom if I feel that the soil didn't get wet enough. So I'm going to check back in a little bit later to take a look at the soil, see how it looks. I might add a little bit more water tonight, but that's it. So now we'll wait until they sprout and I'll see how long they will take until they're ready to go outside. I have to tell you that one of my favorite things with gardening is starting seeds. I have no problem checking on them every day to see how they're doing. I'm very excited to start my other ones soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that soil inside and do my other tray. On that one, I'm just gonna start some lettuces and spinach. Also, I'm gonna definitely make sure that I'm going to be posting updates on this as I go. I am traveling like next week. 
But then he's going to be keeping an eye on them for me and I will ask him to send me pictures in and show all the progress to you guys. That'll be it for today. If you have any questions about anything, as always, you can always leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.